In this video, you'll learn how to remove a video background without a green screen, online and for free. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, marketers, and business professionals, all in an effort to help you spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. All right, so video background removal is commonly associated with green screens and a video editing effect called chroma key. Chances are you see chroma key effects every day, but you don't even realize it. From special effects in movies to online video ads to your local weatherman seven day forecast. Green screens and chroma key, they're awesome. But what if you don't have a green screen? Do you have a green screen? And why even bother removing the background from a video? Well, I'm gonna tell you. First and foremost, background removal effects add a heightened level of production value to your video. It makes your content stand out. It's a wow. So by having the ability to remove the background from your videos opens up a whole new range of creativity for content creation. So whether you're making green screen memes, reaction videos, special effects, or any other customized video content, our friends at Kapwing have got you covered with their chroma key and green screen editing features. For those of you who aren't in the know, Kapwing is an online video creation and editing platform for modern creators. And you, yes you, can try out this chroma key effect online and for free by visiting the Kapwing link in the description below. The chroma key effect inside Kapwing can be broken down into three creative tasks. Removing the background from your videos, removing the background from an existing green screen video, as well as if you have a green screen, how to remove it inside Kapwing with chroma key. I'll touch on each task so you understand exactly how to use the effect. Now, once you're logged into Kapwing, you'll be in the My Workspace panel which will display all of your projects. To get started, we'll simply click on New Project. Next, it'll ask us what kind of project you want to create. In this case, we'll click on Start with Studio, which is where all the magic happens. All right, now here's where we're gonna upload our recorded video clip. You can simply drag and drop a video file into this area here, or you can paste a URL from a video online, like a YouTube link. Once your file has been uploaded or video link converted, it'll load the clip into the studio like so. For this example, I'm using a quick clip I filmed on my phone of me making a poor attempt to become the next best meme character. Now, there is certainly a lot of functionality inside the studio here, but for the purpose of this video, I'll only be working inside the chroma key effects. Okay, with our video layer selected, we can navigate to the upper right corner of the studio displaying these three tabs for Edit, Animate, and Effects. We'll click on the Effects tab to reveal a set of options for background removal. Now we're first gonna tinker with the standard Remove Background option, which when you click it, will put Kapwing to work, removing all major background elements from your video clip, while only keeping our subject in frame. Should you need to adjust the clip, you can do so with the slider over here for Threshold, to decide how much or little of the image you're removing. Once you have it where you want it, we can use the play button down here to play back our clip. Now you can see the edges here are a little choppy, but no big deal, and it's certainly perfect for meme culture and social media content. Also, should your new video clip not play back smoothly, just know that all frame rates will be corrected once we export our final product. Now, this remove background effects works best for single subjects in your video frame with ample lighting available. Okay, with your background removed, now we're gonna source another background to place behind it. This additional background element can be an image, video, or GIF. You can add a video background by clicking back on the upload button and locating your video file. Or you can simply perform a search for GIFs or images to insert directly into our canvas. Whichever background you choose, you'll first want to click on this lock ratio button so the media element remains intact when we scale it up and down in size. Now specifically, we're gonna scale this element up here to fill our entire frame. Then we'll click over here on the Send Backward button to send this element into the background. Now we have our video clip 
with the removed background on top of our new background. If you're reacting to a funny video clip or simply providing instruction for a new application how-to video, this effect allows you to move and position your clip anywhere on the screen. Pretty cool, but let's take this effect one step further and learn how to incorporate existing green screen video clips into your project. Let's first jump over to YouTube and in the search bar, type in anything you want to include in your video and place the phrase green screen behind it. Seriously, there is an immense library of green screen video clips available for consumption that can be pulled directly from YouTube into your meme or video project. Perhaps you'd enjoy a cameo from this guy, Dogface208. We've all seen it. So let's type in Dogface green screen. And there we go. We're going to open up this video. We're going to click on the share button down here and we're going to copy the video URL. Now, let's jump back over to Kapwing, click on the upload button, and paste the video URL into this field right here. The clip will be processed and placed on your canvas. Certainly, we can see this clip has a green screen, which needs to be removed. Let's click over here on Effects, then onto Chroma Key, and boom! It instantly removes a green screen background, enabling Dogface to now be inside my scene. This feature allows you to remove traditional chroma key colors like green and blue, but it also allows you to key out just about any other solid color found on video and images online. You could even take this a little deeper and search for special effects on green screen, like a hungry great white shark or massive explosions. If it has a solid color background on it, that background can be removed in Kapwing and placed anywhere throughout your video content. Additionally, it can serve as a new way to incorporate animated motion graphics like these social media icons, cool subscribe buttons, and lower third nameplates. Now, using an actual green screen for your on-camera elements will produce a better cutout compared to the standard remove background effect. I personally use this green screen that attaches to the back of your office chair. I'll place a link to it below. But the same green screen effect can be achieved by purchasing a green tablecloth from your local dollar store and mounting it on a wall. Okay, with your green screen clip recorded and uploaded into Kapwing, we'll click on Effects and Chroma Key. Now, the effect by default will do its best to remove the green background. However, to get it exact, I recommend choosing this option to Key to Color, which when clicked allows you to pre-select a color from the wheel or use the eyedropper to manually pick the color. And that's what I recommend you do. So, simply hover your mouse over the color you wish to remove, and when you do that, you're gonna see a preview of the color you're about to pick over here. Then click and Kapwing will remove the color from the background. Now, these sliders down here allow you to fine tune the chroma key to achieve the best results. And if we do a side-by-side -side comparison from using the standard remove background effect without a green screen, versus the chroma key effect with a green screen, you can definitely notice the difference in quality with the edges and overall transparency of your footage. Once you're done tinkering with your project, simply click the export button and Kapwing will go to work processing your video for you to download and share. Between these three options for background removal, you can start to see how this could revolutionize how you create your content and how others experience your content online. If you haven't already downloaded our updated Before You Shoot guide, please do so in the show notes below. This guide will prove as a valuable resource for your future video creations, including best practices for shooting and editing video, and links to recommended video gear, apps, and software. And should you have the need to place subtitles or caption text on your videos, well, Kapwing has a tool for that one too. Watch this video next to learn how to easily add subtitles to any video. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you spend less time making more videos.